do not drink the airplane bathroom water. Do people attempt to join the Mile High Club? Yes. It is a big fantasy for everyone. Everyone tries to give you a little tip money. Pretty sure I had passengers give each other hand jobs right in front of me. So what did I do? Well, offer them a warm towel. <laughs> if you get caught doing it, it's a big deal. It's a federal offense. You get arrested and you will be fined. You will be banned from the airline. And no more flying for you to Mexico. Do flight attendants talk about passengers? Yes all the time. Oh my gosh, that's the first thing out of our mouth. We always know what's going on with our passengers. From the moment they step on that plane, there should be a greeter up at the front saying, welcome aboard. And at that moment, we know if we've got a, you know, a newlywed couple going on their honeymoon or somebody who's a first time flyer who says, I'm nervous, I'm a first time flyer. Most of the time they'll tell us or they'll give us some type of cue. First of all, when you're boarding, we're always checking you out seeing who's the sexy one. And then we rate, like, okay, who's the hottest guy in coach or girl? Who's the hottest guy or girl in first class? And then who's the hottest person in the whole plane? So if you see us in the back talking and giggling and looking at the passengers, that's most likely because I'm talking about you. What is potable water? How is it used on a plane? It's the water we use for the lavatories and for the coffee, the same water. I'll leave that up to you if you wanna drink your coffee. I wouldn't drink the coffee on the plane. They don't clean the, the tubes where the water goes, so you're drinking all of that. So if you want water, get it from the bottled water. What is the dirtiest part of an airplane? Definitely the floor. The floor <laughs> gets used and abused. People are walking all around that floor, bringing stuff in, taking stuff off, dropping things. Do not walk barefoot on that airplane, especially going into the laboratory. Everyone's always walking around barefoot and getting like fungus or something. I've seen people walk in barefoot in the laboratory and I'm like, oh, that's a lot of confidence. Bring your own Clorox wipe. No guarantee if those tray tables or seats get cleaned after every flight. In between flights, they do clean, but what they mean by cleaning is they vacuum the carpet and they do wipe down the lavatories. But every single tray table, no, they don't wipe that down. They only do that only if the plane is like sitting in the airport for like overnight or something. How can a passenger get into first class? Well, they can buy a ticket, upgrade your life, uh, <laughs> work harder. You gotta buy a ticket, man. There's just no way. Or they can ask a flight attendant. <laughs> Never hurts to ask. If they can talk their way into it, some of them, and they ask nicely, <laughs> they can get into first class. I've seen it done before. We're not supposed to, but if you're really cute, we just say, hey, come over. I'd rather have you over here. If you guys are gonna be asking, you ask before the plane takes off. If you wanna get anything free on an airplane, it's actually pretty easy. Just be super nice to your flight attendants. If you have like a drink or two, I've met a lot of flight attendants that would just be like, oh, I'll come back and charge you later, and they never come back. Are diet drinks the worst drinks to order on a flight? Diet Cola is literally the worst drink to pour on a flight. The bubbles, for some reason, they never go down. They're so fizzy, so we'll open the can and pour it and we'll literally just wait. That fizz takes so long to defizz that I could have poured a whole plain drinks by the time that Diet Coke defizzes. If you order a Diet Coke with me, you'll probably get the whole can because I don't got time for all that. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned some important, helpful tips for your next flight. Be nice to your flight attendant and bye-bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. So be nice to your flight attendants, just like you would be nice to your waitresses and puppy dogs. We're just there for your safety, dang it.